I get often is, can I use Google Forms with Microsoft Teams? And the answer is yes. You only need to edit the settings. So you will need a Google Drive account in order to save the Google Form quiz. After you create a copy of the Google Form quiz in your Google Drive, and you did that by clicking on the link, and it um, gives you the option to create a copy. So now that you have the copy of the form in your Google Drive, open that up, and you need to edit the settings. So click on the top right icon, this gear icon, and you want to uncheck limit to one person. So right now students are required to log in, but since you don't use Google Classroom, you want to uncheck that, all of these boxes. Click Save. Now the only thing you need to remember is that students can take this quiz more than once since they're not required to sign in. So you want to be clear and tell them to only submit the quiz once. After you uncheck this, click Save, and then share the link by clicking on the Send button, going to this little clip icon, copying the link, and now go to Microsoft Teams and create an assignment as you would and share this link with students. And when they click it, they'll go directly to the quiz, fill in their first, last name, complete, submit the quiz. And once students have submitted the quiz to view the grades, go back into your Google Drive account, open up this form and select responses. And once students have responded, you'll view um, graphs of how they did, how many questions they got right, which questions were most often incorrect, so you know which ones you need to go back and review. And then an easy way to download all of the grades is to click on create a spreadsheet and then you can organize the grades by last name so you can easily um, transfer those grades into your gradebook. So again, you make a copy of this form into your Google Drive account, edit the settings, and share with your students the link, and that is it.